the sentence. Do you remember what shiku meant? Oh, that is a... The shiku. Shiku Isn't is like a... to cover. Cover it's like a blanket. Not, not really like a blanket. Cover like a blanket is actually a different verb because that insinuates you're picking something up to momentarily cover yourself. Shiku is like to be covered, kind of, but not necessarily like passive. It's not passive. Um, it's like is covered. Uh, for example, if you have a bunch of Legos on the floor, you might say the floor is covered in Legos. But that's like a little bit different idea than covering yourself in a blanket. So I suppose, but it's not like necessarily an intent thing, but it's kind of like the, there's no wrapping going on, I guess, with shiku. So um, a carpet, for example, can cover the floor. So you could put a blanket on the floor and then that would count as shiku. But I guess shiku is a flat covering. I guess that's the difference. Moss will cover a rock, for example, and that's also shiku. It's it's this kind of covering on top of like a layer of something. So it's mm. like a weird, it's like interesting because in English we don't separate these, but these are separated in Japanese. Shiku. So in other uh, words, uh, it could be tiles, it could mm -hmm. be wallpaper, it could Absolutely. be paint. Yes. Uh, paint, though, you'd probably say you painted the walls, which would use the word paint, which is a uh, nudu. Um, but theoretically, paint could cover the walls. But just if you insinuated they painted the walls, you probably would say they painted it rather than the paint is covered. That's kind of weird. Why don't we just say the walls were painted? But you could also say the walls are covered in white. Huh. Hmm. Maybe you could do both. Cover. Oh, that makes sense. It was covering. Um, mm -hmm. um, what's a yuka? It's a, that's the floor. So, oh, so, and do you know how to read this kanji? She could hi, hi, cover hi. something, <laughs> but to cover it, something that's covered with it's a self act. It's kind a of. G. It's, yeah, it's a self thing. Not not totally, but kind of. Hi. <laughs> Just so think about this... it as flat covering. I don't know. I'll tell you to think about it. Don't wrap something in shiku. It should just be flat. Wakata. So here, stem form would be shiki. Perfect. Um, so ita, e and then ta is some kind of like something that is like mostly normally square shape. And, you know, you probably would count it with my, but it could be a little bit thicker, like a bookish, like picture a book that's kind of like ita size. It could be big, it could be small. It's just like, it's like the kind of shape, you know, it's a rectangular skinny kind of box shape. That's an ita. And it's used to refer to like boards or planks or like a plate of metal, some kind of metal, wooden, sorry, rock slab, anything like that. Um, so since that was ita and now it's read as ban, how do you think we'd read this word? Ishi. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so ishi is how that kanji is read on its own. Ishi. Ban is not how that kanji is read on its own. This kanji on its own is read as ita. Ita. Ita and ban are two totally different readings of these kanji, right? Ban and ita did not come from the same word. Like, it's not like a difference between rendaku, between ita and ban, right? The difference mm. is that ita is um single and ban is married. And when ban is married, that normally means that the rock is also married. Seki, sorry. Ishi is the single um, reading of stone. And seki, which I just said earlier, is the married reading. So when we see seki in this book, it's like mado seki. Mado seki is the word. Um, sometimes it doesn't pop up the reading for that. 
。はい。Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Right. So it'd be, how do you read this word?、Um, sekiban. Hi, sekiban. What do you think is a sekiban? It's a slab. It's a stone slab.、Mm -hmm. It is a stone slab. So stone pieces、uh, that are probably rectangular ish in shape and not super thick in width. Isn't that what they call a stele? A stele? A stele could be an example, I think, of a sekiban, but、um, this has like more meanings, I would say. So in English,、um, the stele is like one thing, but this, this is、um, any kind of chunk, like, you know, all of these、mm. pictures count as sekiban, which could be the tiles and, or just like, Natural rock formations. Not really natural rock, but yeah, it's it, it's definitely could be man made or more、um, natural. This one's like more natural. But yeah, that's like the idea behind it is it's mostly like the idea of the shape. It's rock and it's, you know, normally kind of rectangular ish, though some of these are more circular, but they're just, you know, that. Very specific kind of like shape idea, right?、Mm -hmm. um, you I... could carve on it and stuff. <laughs> But yeah, that's... <laughs> okay, so it's started with seki. You know what it ended with? It ended with ban. Perfect. So this word right here means to cover a surface like completely. Shiki tsumeru. Hi, hi. Oh, yeah, it's s u m e r u by itself is like kind of like stud, like, 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 famming, kind of. I don't know what it means by itself, <clears throat> yeah, famming to stuff something into something to shorten to reduce.、Uh, um, it could also mean to focus on to be on duty. Uh, to cut off somebody, things like that. But the main meaning is、um, to cram.、Um, mm. right. So you cram、mm. coverings. Right.、Um, so this right here is a do verb. So what is the passive form? Passive. It's a matter of. It's a matter of. I feel like it's already passive. So that was the thing I was telling you. It's not actually passive. It's not, I am covered, right? You wouldn't say, I am covered in rocks.、Um, this would be the passive sentence. I am covered in rocks. It, it said, it's rocks covers. I. I rocks cover cover I rocks are covering、yeah. I so then here passive would be shiki sumerareru perfect um can you read the sentence for me hi um yuki wa shiki sumerareta Sekiban, the stone slab that was covered with Yuki. No, the floor is covered with or covered by stone. Hi.、Uh, you could have, this could theoretically be、um, the stone that is covered by flooring. It doesn't make sense. But grammatically, that is theoretically possible because wa could replace basically anything.、Um, could play some o and stuff and ga.、Um, so it, it, it is kind of funny. That is theoretically possible.、Um, just because of wa is a weird article. But the first reading, the second reading, the, the one you did,、uh, is definitely more correct. Being the floor 
that is covered by the stone. So but specifically, I guess the stone that is covered by the floor. This would make more sense if that was like ga. I guess it should be niwa, actually, I'm wondering. It should be niwa. Yeah, because these are sentences are weird. Um to edit. Um, do you know what nuderu means? Nuderu. Nuderu. Right, it's to drip. Not exactly, but that is very similar. Dripping um might cause something to become nurita. The mm, second guess what it might mean? To leak to to become uh, ruined, to become decrepit. Yes. So nuderu is to be wet. To be, to wet. be wet. To be damp, to be wet, anything like that. So if something drips on you, you probably will be wet. So nudita, the outcome of that. Um, nudita items could be ruined. Like if a book gets wet, it'd be ruined. But it doesn't have to be ruined. You could get a floaty is not going to be ruined if you get nudita. But it just means mm. there is water on this object. It is damp. It's jime jime shita. Um, Okay, let's go read this sentence from the book. Hi. So here it says, Sekiban ga shiki tsumerareta yu wa nurete ita. Can you the read floor, the, the last kanji real again for me? Yuki wa? So Yuki is snow. This word right here is yuka. Yuka. Which is floor. Yuka wa nureta. Nurete ita. So the floor is wet, or was wet, and this floor is um, filled up with a slab, stone slab. So the floor was covered with stone slab, and it was wet. Perfect. Nice. Um, do you remember how to read these two guys? They are read differently. Okay, so the first one is an adjective, meaning sumetai, reading sumetai. The second one is a verb, and it's a mueteru. Good guess. It is hieteru, he, which hieteru. is to chill, <laughs> be chilled. He, hieteru. Hi. Um, you know how to read this word? Uh, kiru. Hi. And what Cut. does it mean? Cut. Perfect. Um, what is the stem form of hieru? The stem form of hieru is hie. Yeah, it is hie by yep. itself. It is hie. Perfect. So you can combine these together like this to mean to become completely chilled. So the cutting part is basically is the end. So it's been chilled. Boom, that's the end. You can't get any chiller than that. Can you read the word for me? Hie kiru. Perfect. So let's go read the sentence from the book. Hi. Hadashi no ashi ga kite chinjin siru. Hadashi no ashi ga. Hadashi is barefoot. Hadashi no ashi ga barefoot. Kie kite. To become cold completely. And I'm shaking, shivering. It's it I believe it's a stinging sensation, like so cold that your feet sting, right? Sting. So My barefoot became became was completely cold and it felt and it's doing a sh uh, chilling oh, I gotta, well I it, it's like it's it's like a throbbing feel like a like a numb pain like tingles pain. 
So this does not feel good. Ah, like a numbing pain. A yeah. numbing pain. It's really cold, so it hurts his bare feet. Hurts his bare feet, and it's a numbing pain. The main thing here is um this word right here, which is tubuyaku. And I just have the other stuff here as a if you wanted to guess what tubuyaku means. Tubuyaku. Tubayaki nakara. Subayaku is quickly, swiftly. That's a good guess. You're thinking about su. Su. Subayaku. But this is subu. Subuyaku. Right. Subuyaki nara nakara. Nakara. So does na mark an adjective. That's a good guess. Nagara is what's right here. And then we have the stem form of the verb tubuyaku. I feel like Nagara that's is while. So to fly of some sort. That's tsubu a good tsubuyaku. guess. Flying is tobu. Tsubuyaku. Tsubuyaku. Butu butu is the sound effect they gave to it. <laughs> but that's tsubuyaku true. is to mutter. Tsubuyaku to mutter. So it says, while muttering something or the other in a butu butu kind of way. Do you know what this word means? Kyuna. Hi. What does it mean with the na? It means a steep. Hi. Uh, um, a, in, an incline of some sort. It does. Do you know what a mune is? Chess. Perfect. This is the kanji. How do you read it? Mune. Perfect. What does tubuyaku mean? Tubuyaku is to mutter. What's the te form? The te form is tubuyaku. Yakite? Yeah, yaite. Yep, tubuyaite. Perfect. Let's go read the sentence. Mune. Ho. Subuyaita. He mutter. Chess. Perfect. Um, kakageru is to hoist something upwards, or like kind of like to just put it up, kind of. You don't need to place it down. It just you can have it in your hands and you just put it upwards. Raise your hands ah. up. Kaga, ka, kakageru. Kakageru. There should be something in your hands if that uh, word is used. So it's not like just hands up. It takes a object. So let's go read our example sentence. Um, uh, me, me, sui. Me, shi, tsukai. Me, shi, tsukai. Wa, mune no mai ni. Ishi o kakageta. I hoisted the rock um, in, in front of the chest of the servant. Hi. Um, so the servant hoists the rock in front of his chest. Perfect. Okay, now you can like, read the sentence from the book. Neburi ga katate de. Ma do seki o mune no mae ni kakage nani ka tsubuyaku. Neburi, with one hand, he hoist the magical stone towards or at, at um, the front of his chest and he mutter something. Perfect. And what does shiki tsumerareta mean? That it was cover it, cover up with. Perfect. How do you read this word? It is sekiban. Perfect. And how about dim? Akur, akar, akaraku. Your first guess was really close. It was ku, but it's rai. Right. 
Um, last one on this page. How do you read this word? Yakita. Perfect. Um, do you know how to read this guy? Hanashi. Perfect. Hanashi. So Hanashi um has like like oh like tail hanashi to let go of a hand. Hanatsu is also takes o, but it's a different kind of o or like what like it's the non-human o. Do the sentence for me. Sekiga Io Hanata. So he only gets one flame. This is um ono. Yep. Ono o hanata. The rock releases the flame. Perfect. Yep, exactly. This is the word I think that tends to show up when Pokemon use moves as well, I think. But don't quote me on that. Uh, Hi. Tsutsumu is a word that we have seen in the past. This is um to like wrap something. For example, Tetsumu. can you read the sentence for me? Hi, it's Sui ni ishi no itasaga. Tumetai. Tumetasa. Hi. Ga. Karada o. And it's to wrap something up is nu numikonde. Tutsu. Tsutsumikonde. Perfect. What does this mean? Sui ni. Sui. Continue, right? Oh, suddenly. Suddenly. Sui ni ishi no sumeta saga. Suddenly, the level of cold, right. coldness. Um, from what? From the stone. Right. It tsutsumi konde. It wraps the, the body. Right. It wraps into and around the body. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What is the passive form of tsutsumu? Tsumareru. Perfect. Tsumareru. To be wrapped up. Tsumareru. Let's go read the sentence. He ga tsutsumareta aoi ono. The blue flame that wraps the hand. Blue flame that covers the hand. Yeah. Um, as, as since it's passive, like you're right. The, the hand it's it's the hand that is covered by blue frame, but it is the blue frame that is wrapped around the hand is a great way of putting it. Um, do you know how to read this word? Kokuzen. 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 Last word is zen. What does totsu zen mean? Suddenly. Perfect. Totsu. Then you get to go read the line from the book. Tsuruto mado seki o matta motta ho no te ga totsu zen seki no anatsu aoi ho no ni Tsutsumareta. Having done that, um, the Mataho no Hega, the hand that hold on to the magical stone, Totsuzen Tiki no Hanatsu. Aoi hono ni tsutsumareta. That hand suddenly, that hand wraps, that hand wraps around. You're thinking the, about tsutsum, tsutsumu. Tsutsumareta. That, 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 that flame was wrapped by. What does I'm passive sorry, form no. mean? Passive. The hand 
the hand that was wrapped by Hi. the flame that is blue, that it that releases blue flame from this magical stone. Yep. From the stone suddenly. So the stone suddenly releases blue flame, and that blue flame is wrapped around the hand, or at least around the hand that was holding that stone. Which is I... kind of terrifying. Uh, what's going on, Nebody? What you doing? Oh, I see what time is it. Oh, still got time. Can you read this word for me? Atar um araku. So it's araki, araki. Plus aru, aruki. Aruku, aruki, aruki, suzuke, ru. Hi. Right. So this means is... exactly what you would assume it would mean, but what do you think it means? Is to continue running. Good guess. We'll You're thinking about hashidu. Hi. Hashidu and aruku for you are kind of in that same little box. <laughs> <laughs> I keep getting mixed up. Okay, um, let's go read this sentence. This is probably our last sentence of the day. Hi. Neburi wa sono mama araki tsuzuke oren tachi wa sono ato o tsuite kita. Neburi continue to walk as before. Oreni tachi wa we sono ato o after him suite ita we follow. So we follow after him as he continue to walk. Perfect. As before. And can you read this word again? Aruki. Perfect. Aruki. And actually we can continue. It's still three minutes till. You remember to read this word? It's ega. It, do, it can be pronounced as a, like an a kyo, but when it's on its own, it actually has a single pronunciation rather than having only one pronunciation. So it's two. Here it's pronounced as kage, but you're correct with the meaning. Yes, it does mean shadow. Kage ga. So, and it's kage. Um, so this word right here is a little bit of an exception as it's not gabe, it's kabe. Kabe is a word that can be found on its own to mean wall. So how do you think we might read this word? Seki. Kabe. Hmm. You Seki. really have it stuck in your ishi. head. Ishi, ishi, I'm sorry. Yep. Ishi, ishi, kabe. Ishi, kabe. Versus sekiban. Which was the. Uh, this, this is a stone wall. Ishikabe. Yeah. So, as you can see, when one of these is read on its own, the other one is also normally read on its own. And when one of them is read as married, the other one normally copies that. So, in a way, you're only allowed to do the married read reading if both party members can be married. They're eligible for marriage. Otherwise, they can only be friends with benefits. Hi. Normally, with friends with benefits, this guy right here would be getting rendaku. I'm not sure why Kabe doesn't get it. Um, because it's not like a normal rule, because other words after Ishi do get um rendaku. So I'm not sure why it's not Ishi Kabe rather than Ishi Kabe. Who Hi. knows? Maybe it's because of the bear. <laughs> Um, so this is an exception to that um, random rule that I've vaguely mentioned to you about voicing. Um, can you read this one for me? Many. And then this one is to be in the middle. No, it's to reflect. So um, to reflect on the surface of something. It I, is I, utsu. 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 Sutta. Hey, does this ututa, do you know this ututu if it takes ga or o? So I think it takes ga because it reflected it itself. Correct. Onto it takes the ga. surface. Perfect. So yep. That In itself, you... it's reflected into my eyes. Right. So taking with that, this word right here, which has different kanji. I'm gonna check. For some reason, um, it must be both 
I I typed up the wrong kanji here. Um, it's just, it's just, uh, right there. It's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, I'm gonna quickly fix that. Um, so that it matches. Uh, anyway, this one right here is that same to reflect word, but this one takes all to reflect something. So now this example sentence will be our last sentence of the day. This time for realsies. Hakari ga ore no me ni machi no sagata tsugata o utsushita. Kind of a weird sentence. Utsushita. Yeah, it's weird. Hard to say. So the light reflected on the shape of the town in my eye. Okay, so do you know how like light... eyes work for seeing things? This sentence only makes sense with that context. <laughs> what did he say is that the image, the sugata, yeah, the shape of the town. Is reflected upon his eye. Many. Right. And I just said the light is doing that because I just was like, that's how you see things. Light kind of bounce into your eye so that you can see stuff. So the light is doing the I I it, the the word they use over in the book for what is um reflecting things is um fire. Fire is causing some reflections. Um, causes things to be um, I guess, onto, um, and I just thought light would be a quick way to illustrate the same idea. Mm. Um, it's kind of convoluted though, so I I don't know if you actually would say that sentence in Japanese. I probably should have checked. I spent math. That makes sense. Um, that makes sense. So yeah, that is where we're going to pause. I want to stop. Sure.